I'm getting ready to go on this Poda road with Kyle. We're flying to Connecticut next Tuesday, and I'm gonna pack this bag for the Poda road. I wanted to show everything I was taking because you're a little bit restricted on what you can take on an airplane, and you have to be selective because I really don't like checking bags on an airplane at all. We're gonna go through my Mystery Ranch Ravine backpack. I believe it's a 50 liter backpack. I looked it up the other day to get a link to it and apparently they don't make it anymore. But this thing's been great. I've had it for two or three years now. I've taken it on a few hikes, not very many, but that's what we're taking on the plane. So check this out. This is everything we're gonna put in the bag. All right, that's the bag itself. I emptied everything out of it. It's got this pocket here. It's got a pocket here. Two pockets up top. It's got the zip down the middle and opens the fly like that, so it zips all the way down. Really common to see this in like hiking backpacks. It's got the metal frame in the back. This is very stiff for lumbar support. Load-bearing straps that you can adjust to ride higher on your shoulder. A little bit better for hiking. We're not going to be doing much hiking on this trip I'm about to go on, but I figured this was a good pack to take for this trip because it's large. It uh, holds a lot of stuff. I really like wearing it and like using it, and I don't get a chance to do it that much. So this is pretty much everything. Now, this stuff here is stuff that I took out of the pack when I first opened up. Not that. This emergency blanket and this uh, emergency bivy, those were in the pack. Water purification tablets that you put into water, and it supposed to clean them up. This right here was in the pack. This is cool, but I doubt I'm going to leave this in the pack for this specific trip. This is a portable grill. You take it out, put it together, and you put it over a campfire, and then you grill uh, your dinner on it. So it's really cool, lightweight, compact, portable grill. Use that in another video sometime. Flushable wipes, because you can never know what uh, when you're going to get dirty or muddy on a camping or hiking trip right there. Paracord uh, bracelet that you wear. It's got a compass on it. It also has a, a fire starting kit with it. And this is a portable, open that up later. I don't know if I'll do that. This is a USB-C rechargeable portable air mattress inflator. It's a portable air pump is what it is. Got some cool stuff there. I don't, again, this was all stuff that was in the pack. I don't think I'll need that on this trip, but I might pack it anyway, just for the heck of it. And then my Be Free water bottle. I carry this with me every time I go out in the woods. You just fill it up out of a stream, and then it's got this filter in the top of it that cleans the water before you drink, you drink it directly out of the bottle. Through that filter, it cleans the water. So that was everything, pretty much, that was in the pack. Oh, this was in the pack, too. First aid kit, which is actually a canine first aid kit that I keep because I, I take my dog often with me on trips. But it's got uh, bandages, gauze pads, drinking water, packages of emergency drinking water, that kind of thing. Some good uh, first aid stuff in there. So I, I usually carry that in the pack also. I'll probably leave that in. So that's pretty much all, not the, not the laptop here, but that's pretty much all the stuff that was in the bag when I took it out. And the stuff that I'm going to add is, this is a BioNO 12 amp hour battery. This is basically the largest battery you can carry on a plane. If you look at the TSA website, they say that they will allow like 100 or 110 amp hours, but they also say that it depends on that different airlines have different specifications. And I always fly American Airlines, and on their website, American Airlines website, it says 150 watt hours is the max. 150, 160, somewhere in there. I think it's 150 watt hours. But this is a 144 watt hour battery, so this is perfectly acceptable to take on a carry-on bag, not a checked bag, but a carry-on bag on the airplane. Sunblock, of course. This is my Tech Prepper Man Pack for the FT-891. Life is way too short to QRP on a trip like this, so we're taking the full 100 watt FT-891 Yezu. It's got a connection inside of it for a digi rig, and I'm kind of tinkering around with that, seeing if I want to take that later, but that's the that's the FT-891 Man Pack with the arm lock cage on it. This pouch here is supposed to be for a battery, but since this battery's larger than what this is made for, I don't keep it in there. This is another pouch with my Buddy Pull Power Mini and Power Mini 2 in it. Solar charge controllers for the trip that I will use. This is a pouch with my, this is my Explorer pouch, and you can find these right now on the Gigaparts website. At the time of this recording, we'll see how much longer this lasts, but at the time of this recording, Gigaparts is selling the backpack, the Explorer backpack itself, and with the coupon code of HR2FREE, HR2FREE, all caps, you can get three of these bags with the backpack. Purchase the backpack and get three of these bags for free. So check that out. I'll put the link in the description below. That's a good bag. But inside that pack is uh, two of my Pac-10 antennas. This, of course, is my Panasonic Tough Pad with the iKey keyboard that goes with it. I had considered 
and I haven't decided 100% yet, but this is the one that I want to take. I considered taking, instead of that, I consider taking the, the little Evolve Maestro, the Jankopotamus laptop. The great thing about that little Evolve Maestro is the battery on it lasts like six to seven hours. The battery life on this thing is not great. It's probably a couple hours. I think I might, I bought this as a refurbished unit on eBay. I put it in one of my POTA videos last week and somebody commented on the live premiere on this like, they're like, where did you get that? And I said, well, I bought mine on eBay. It was a certified refurbished from, I don't remember if it was an eBay refurbished, refurbished or a manufacturer refurbished, but it looked brand new, not a scratch on it, no blemishes at all. But the battery, I, I suspect the battery's not new because it only lasts like a couple hours. And the other thing is, since it's a tablet and not a laptop, it's unless you shut down windows, it stays on and runs the battery down. So you have to remember to shut it down every time. You can't just put it, like close the lid and put it in the sleep mode like, like you can on a laptop. So the little Evolve Maestro is great. It's smaller, it's not as powerful. The hard drive's not as big, but the battery life on it is, is much greater. So I, I considered taking it, but I don't know. I'm probably going to take this. I did buy extra for it for the for the, the tough pad. I bought the 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter for it. So it will charge via cigarette lighter 12 volts. But of course, I'm going to cut that off and put power pulls on it. So more to come on that later. So that's the pad there. This in here is, is the charger. I've got some power pole charging cables in there and uh, charging cables for the solar panel. This, of course, is a wall charger. This is a bio wall charger for the to charge batteries uh, at nighttime when we get back to a hotel or a campsite. This is a Soda Beams Carbon 6 19-foot mast, collapsible mast. I just got this. Like a week ago, I got this, so I haven't even used it yet. So I'm looking forward to packing that because it'll fit in the bag just fine. In fact, I tried my, my Spider Beams mast. My Spider Beams mast will fit in this bag also. You stuff it down there, kind of pull it up to the top like that it might be a little bit tight in there but we're gonna see if that that one will fit as well and then of course i've got my mezzi and poloni coax there this is the airborne 50 foot of the airborne with po 259s on it airborne it's they call it airborne because it's very lightweight it's made specifically for what i'm about to do it's made to take on an airplane in a lightweight pack and not be cumbersome and not be large and that's the coax that i'm going to take this is the coax i might take this is a bit heavier this is abr coax with a built-in uh, choke and it has a bnc on one end so it would go well with a uh, pack tenna connected here and then the radio connected here but this heavy this coax is much heavier than this coax and for the purposes of of this specific activation i might just take one of these i haven't decided yet this is a waterproof pad that was also in the backpack and then on the other side is going to be, I'm going to take my Quirky QRP pad to put on the table underneath the radio. And I'm going to take my 120 watt foldable power film solar panel. This thing it folds up nicely. It'll go in the pack. It is much lighter than my 150 watt Explorer Gigaparts panel. And it folds down a little bit smaller than the Gigaparts panel as well. So that's everything that I'm going to pack into the bag. And we're going to see if it's all going to fit. All right, the heaviest stuff should go in the bottom. We put this... Uh, this battery here but there's this extra little pocket in the back there and that battery's going to fit in there just fine so that's where that's going to go then i want to put this on the bottom because it's got a good protective case around it put that in there like that now that we've got extra pockets on the outside here for some smaller stuff the power film lightsaber max can go in this outer pocket and i'll put some of this other stuff that's came out of the bag originally in this outer pocket as well. This bag here is holding is uh, my camera case that holds the camera that you're watching right now. So I don't know if that's gonna fit in there. I might try to, I might not take that whole case. We'll see. Antennas, put the antenna, yeah, I'm gonna pull the antennas up and put them in there with the, in the same pocket as the battery. Oh, that's good. Tablet. Power cables and battery chargers. Sit down there like that. This, I didn't show this, but I had it on the on the couch. This is my DJI Osmo gimbal for my phone. So I'm taking the camera that you're watching right now, and that's going to be my primary and main camera, but it's always good to have a backup. So we will stick that in uh, one of these side pockets also. Extra flashlight solar charge controllers solar panel so let's see how that's going to fit in here actually that might have to go it's like paint playing tetris
fit down in there a little bit better. That's fine. This can go in the front. Solar charge controllers. I'm not going to be room for that camera bag, but that's okay. Coax and soda beam. That soda beam might fit in this side pocket. Yeah. The soda beam's masked in the side pocket with the Power Film Lightsaber Max. Put that coax there right on the top. This guy here, mouse pad or radio pad, whatever you want to call it. Put that on the top there, that's fine. I always take this drinking cup with me pretty much wherever I go. It's usually in my EDC pack, so I packed it today. So there's not room for the spider beams mask, at least not on the outside, or not on the inside, but it can totally go on the outside, just like that. Definitely gonna want sunblock, so we'll put that down. I haven't even done anything with this top pocket yet, so. Put my sunblock in the top pocket here, one of the top pockets. Water bottle, press all the air out of the water bottle. Put it in here. Flashlight in there with the sunblock. That'll work. This is everything for the radio stuff. This doesn't include my clothes. I get you get two carry-ons on the flight on a plane flight. So my second carry-on is just going to be a bag with some clothes and extra st stuff like that in it. So all right, there we go. Not not the lightest pack I've ever packed. <laughs> Probably not the heaviest one either, actually. There we go, just like that. All right, again, this is a POTA trip. We're not gonna be hiking on this trip. I'm just taking this hiking backpack because I thought it was a good choice for this trip. So I'm not really worried about weight so much. It does, it is gonna need to fit in the overhead bin on the, on the airline, but I've taken this pack and put it on an overhead bin before, so that shouldn't be a problem. We will see how that goes. So follow along next week. I'm gonna post this video on Monday. We're leaving early Tuesday morning for the road trip well to fly up to connecticut and and rent a car for the road trip to do a poda rove i will be giving away another brand new yezu ft5 that's going to be beaconing aprs kc5 hwb-5 so you come find me in the park or on the road somewhere and uh win the radio 73 thanks for watching